Welcome ladies and gentlemen back to Trailmakers and today we're diving back into the workshop to see what kind of crazy creations I can find this week and uh, we're starting off with some luxury boats here and I'm just realizing whatever seat I'm in does not control anything in this boat so let's try to find there is it this one? Oh, there we go now we have control over the boat wait do we have control over the boat okay we have control over this door and oh did we just oh we just dropped it. oh i have control over this <laughs> there's a little dinghy look at this this is awesome this thing actually works really really well all right but how do i control the actual boat this is the one time where pushing buttons and seeing what happens isn't actually, I can't make the thing happen that I want to happen. Okay, we accidentally destroyed a little piece of it. All right. Oh, there we go. I think I actually have to get into that particular, that makes sense, that particular seat, which happens to be the captain's seat. All right. Now I can control the real boat. Here we are. All right. So we got actually a bunch of buttons here. So we have WASD, which is our standard one. So we have space. Okay, we got a cannon, of course, naturally. I don't know what left shift does, but we have arrows left and right, and that appears to move the cannon so we can aim where we want to aim. Can we shoot ourselves? No, it does not allow us to shoot ourselves. Okay. So, of course, if we have a cannon on the front of this thing, what I have to do is spawn in another one. But we're going to spawn in a different one. So, this one that we're looking at is by Old Race Cars. It's called Coast Guard Fast Response Cutter. And then we're going to spawn in Big Yacht by HSC 07. It's a full-size yacht that we can even walk around in. Oh, wow. Look at how deep this is. There's so much weight on the bottom. Oh, speaking of which, apparently there's a bunch of stuff in this yacht too. So we should go into first person and explore both of these things. All right, well, let's go into first person over here first. We'll see if we can navigate our way around this. All right, here we go. Check this out. So, oh, this was the seat I was in before and this seat doesn't do anything. Okay, that makes more sense now. Are these beds? I think these are beds. Yeah, those are probably beds. And then we can go up these stairs into the driver's area. All right, that's pretty cool. All right, now let's get onto this yacht. So that wasn't actually a yacht. That was actually a Coast Guard thing. All right, so we got some stairs going down on the front here. Looks like we got a bed underneath with some lights right in your face as you're trying to sleep. <laughs> oh, look at this table. That is such a nice, compact little table. Such like a tiny little detail, but very well thought out. And is this like a bar area? It's got like the cough shield and everything. And we got the ketchup and mustard. This is really cool. All right, wow, it keeps going. Looks like we got supplies. You need to catch up with mustard. Got to have your ketchup and mustard. All right, and then we can go up into the back. And yeah, that seems to be the... Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Aren't we supposed to be able to get up into, like, the driving area, too? Oh, here we go. We got stairs here. All right, and... What is this? Another bedroom area. Okay, bed. Got a stereo, and then we got the captain's seat. There we are. So let's drive this boat around a little bit. Man, look at the weight underneath. Keeps this thing nice and upright. All right, whoa, we have a lot of buttons on this too. All right, L is probably lights. Yeah, L is like the interior lights. H is the horn. Yeah, that time H was the horn. What is N? Okay, N is the stereos. M, uh, another stereo. G, oh, G is the spotlight. Okay, K is the spinny radar satellite thing. I don't know actually know what what it is and i think that's everything so let's go ahead and leave this thing right here get in the other the coast card boat which happens to be a battleship as well how do i get out of here right, there we go and we're destroy the yacht with the coast guard boat because that's what coast guard that's how coast guard works i can't aim up with this there we go okay a little bit of a delayed reaction though if anything i could even say delayed annihilation <laughs> But I won't. I won't say that. So well, those are some pretty nice looking boats, but I think it's time to move on to another type of sea craft, uh, which is an aircraft carrier by Rompo 3. And depending on how big this aircraft carrier is, I have some aircraft that I'm hoping to attempt to land on this thing. All right, this is, uh, this is, this is really, really not that big of an aircraft. So I don't know how this is gonna go. Let's go ahead and get in the seat and see what we have for controls. All right, look at this. We got a rudder underneath. All right, W-A-S-D, P and O. What does P and O do? All right, no idea what those buttons do, number one. Okay, number one turns the spotlight. Number one and two turn the spotlight. L is probably the lights themselves, nope. Oh, L is the runway lights, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and P and O are the lights on the towers. Oh, okay. All right, we finally figured out all the controls. 
All right, so I'm just gonna leave that there, and the aircraft that I have are gonna be way too big for this thing, but I'm gonna see what happens anyway. All right, so we have the Electric Toast F-14 fighter. The wind, wings actually apparently fold back, and this is by Electric Toast. So I'm thinking this thing is way too, I think this thing is wider than the entire aircraft carrier itself. But, uh, let's hope for the best here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get enough speed in time. No, we did not get enough speed in time. Alright, here we go. Let's hope I can actually fly this thing now. Oh, wait, all of the wings pitch? Okay, get away from the mountain. No! Oh! Oh, no, that's a terrible crash. Perhaps if we go in the direction of not a mountain, we'll have a little bit better luck. Oh no, I am not doing that. Why are you doing that? You know what? Maybe we need to be in a wing folding mode. I don't really know why this would be better, but we'll find out. Please, please be better. No, stop turning. Stop the, okay. Oh wow. It's so much better. It is so much better. All right, it doesn't, oh, I can put the landing gear up too. There we go, check that out, yeah. All right, so, oh, our aircraft carrier is pretty far away now. So I'm gonna try my best. We're gonna land this thing on the aircraft carrier. We should have zero issues. It is an aircraft carrier. We are an aircraft, so it should be able to carry us, right? Look at this, coming in for a great landing. Gonna turn the thrust off. All right, coming in a bit higher this time. This is it. This is it, good trajectory, good trajectory, turning the thrust up. Oh no. The whole aircraft carrier tipped over. Um, all right, I think we need to accept that our plane is a little bit too big for the aircraft carrier, or perhaps the aircraft carrier is a little bit too small for the plane. I'm gonna go with that considering our character is like a quarter of the width of the actual aircraft carrier itself. So maybe, maybe it's the aircraft carrier that's a little bit too small. All right, I had a little bit of trouble controlling that plane. So maybe this aircraft will be a little bit better. This is uh, the Ethel Sprite with Hyperdrive Docking Ring by Georginius. I don't know what most of that really means. So let's push buttons and see what happens. Okay, this is pretty interesting. All right, that's space, uh, Z. Oh, so Q must be to detach. I see some detachable blocks here. So does this whole ring? I am very confused about how this works. All right, I'm gonna press Q now. That's interesting. So it's kind of like a launch station. All right, this plane is also not the easiest to control. Hold on, hold on. Uh, wait, I'm gonna, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I'm trying to lift up here. There we go. This thing is so, it's like, it's like a, it's so flat. All right, the roll, um, is there, there's no roll. There's W, S, and space. I literally have no roll in this. What am I supposed to do? I can't control the roll. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Okay, and we're dead. It was an interesting concept in theory, but uh, the execution, I think we just needed a couple more controls in this thing. <laughs> All right, so moving on, we got Peter Parker's Hovercraft, Land, Sea, and Air by That Dom Guy. Apparently, Spider-Man doesn't need a vehicle, but Peter Parker sure does. This is the hovercraft he built to get where he needs to get. Works on land, water, and it flies. All right, so we'll start on the aircraft carrier, and then uh, we'll head to the water then. Man, look at this thing looks crazy. This thing looks really crazy. Oh, boy. okay, we got propellers. Whoa. Whoa, it's got, uh, it's got trailer hinge joints up in the front there. That's interesting. Okay. This thing turns really strangely. The whole cockpit, like, shifts. Okay, uh, WASD space. How do I even use the thrust with H? Oh, H turns off the hover. That makes sense. E. Ah, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna do my best here. We're gonna pick up some speed and I'm gonna try to fly. Whoa. This is so stable, actually. I'm like, considering that there's so much floppiness with this, I'm really surprised that this stays stable. All right, so do you think we can successfully make a water landing 
with these hover pads. We gotta maintain speed and we gotta not go underneath the water. Okay, hold on. All right, nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. There we go. We're bouncing. I don't like the bouncing. All right, I think we're safe. I think we are nice and safe. Oh no, oh no, 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 stop. Okay, just maybe, maybe the too much speed with the propellers. We'll just use the, th the uh, thrusters on the surface of the water. So I think that's all of our controls. And now I should be able to hold space and take off. Look at that. That is perfect. And let's see if we can land ourselves back on the aircraft carrier without damaging anything. All right. And nice and gentle. Look at that, such a soft landing. Oh, and turn the thrust off. Oh, oh no, 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 no! <laughs> well, that was cutting it close, wasn't it? Man, this thing is awesome. This thing is a really, really cool vehicle. Okay, up next, uh, I don't know what to expect with this, but just looking at it, it looks absolutely insane. He says he calls this the Toilet Brush Helicopter by Luna Eclipse CKD. And apparently he made it for me. Look at, do you, you know what this is? This is just stacks and stacks and stacks of propellers. I never considered this as a thing that you could even do. I guess propeller motors and propellers are not that complex. So you could just stack hundreds of them. This is a thing. This is a thing. This, this should not be a thing though, but it is. Oh boy. All right, we got WS left shift into space. So, uh, oh my good. Do you have them all going in the same direction? You should at least have them cancel each other out so we don't start spinning around erratically. I don't even have any control over anything. Okay, shift just goes in the other direction. Oh, you know what? This thing looks so weird. I can see why you call it the toilet brush uh, helicopter or whatever. I can see why toilet brush is in the name, um, but this is not, <laughs> this is not working out great. Whoa, 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 that is so cool. That is, oh man, I wanna make something that does that like on purpose. And we could create such like cool visual effects with a whole stack of these things. Oh, that'd be fun. That is so cool looking. Well, that was a pretty unexpected and awesome result, but uh, I think we've done all that it can do. So let's move on. All right, up next we have Ferrari F1 by The Big Troller. So this is actually probably one of the more like realistic looking F1 cars I've seen. This is pretty cool. Oh man, the steering is super, super slow. Whoa. Okay. Oh, boy. okay. Alrighty then. You know what? Let's go on to not aircraft carrier. This is not an F1 carrier. This is an aircraft carrier. So let's move it on. All right. Oh, but wh what? <laughs> this thing's aggressive. Hold on. And go. Oh, no. Okay. Get some grip. Get some grip. This thing is super, super difficult to control. He said in the description that once you go over like 100 kilometers an hour, the back wheels kind of, uh, the downforce is too much. But this is 100 kilometers an hour. That's like nothing. What am I supposed to do? I can't. <laughs> this thing is the most ridiculous thing to control. Okay, I'm just gonna, all right, here's what I'm gonna try to do. Ready? I'm gonna show you how, how hard this is to control. I'm just gonna go straight. There we go. All I'm doing is pressing W right now. I'm just, I'm just holding W. Okay, well on the dirt, it doesn't really count because we actually have no traction on the dirt. But here, let's try to get over back onto the concrete. Oh, I have the perfect spot. Here, I'm gonna try my best to get over to under that archway, okay? I'm doing my best right now, people. I'm doing my absolute best. All right, here we go. Here we, <laughs> all right, maybe backwards is better. No, I feel like the dirt is actually a little bit better. There we go. Backwards is so much better. Look at this, 275, look at this. Look at this. All right, now let's turn around. Oops, so much for turning around. All right, now I'm gonna try it forwards. I'm only gonna press W. 
Okay, it's kind of working, but yeah, look, the whole back end just slides on the ground. Now I'm gonna try to turn a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, so the back end clearly, just like he says, uh, it drifts out a lot if you go too fast, but I don't think he really tried to use this thing backwards because this thing is so much more controllable going backwards. Look at this. All right, so let's see how far we can get going just backwards without uh, messing up. All right, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. This is so easy to control going backwards. So easy. I can go anywhere I want to go. All right, I'm going to go off the jump. Let's do it. Oh, there goes our rear spoiler. Oh, we made it through the gate. <laughs> we jumped the whole battle bot arena. That was pretty epic. Here's some action. Ugh. Oh, boy. Land it. Look at that. Perfect. See, with games like this, when in doubt, just drive backwards. That's really, that's really your best bet in all cases. Just drive backwards. Perfect. Nailed it. All right, let's move on. All right, up next we have Mono Wheel by Cow Power. Is it a cow powered mono wheel? I don't know. I don't see any cows, but uh, I haven't seen a mono wheel quite. Oh, look at the, the seat looks awesome. It looks like a motorcycle, doesn't it? That looks really cool. All right, well, it's just WASD controlled, so. Oh, this is cool. This is actually really, really cool. Whoa, this is actually kind of complicated. Each of those sensors are individually working to control the tilt of this and keep it balanced. That's a, that's pretty impressive, actually. Because normally I would have thought that you would have to keep, like, the sensors still or, like, always in contact or always looking at the ground, but he actually has multiple sensors working towards the same goal. Oh, lost a piece somewhere. Okay, that's fine. No, this is fine. All right, this is, this is fine. Look, we're still going. I can't believe this. Now it's a mono, not really a mono wheel. It's more like a mono semicircle, semi wheel. This, this is, this is, this has got to fail at some point, right? Like you can't just, you can't just keep going like this, right? All right, I just wanna, I just wanna see this thing wreck. It's still balancing itself. It's still moving forward. All right, let's go down this cliff here. Watch us survive all of, no, we're not surviving this. There's no way. Here we go. We're done now. Nope, we're not done yet. Now we're done. Now we're done. What is going on now? Where am I? I can't even see myself. I'm going to press R now. Okay, there I am. Maybe we can get out of here. Come on. Come on. Come on. This thing's impressive. This thing's like an all-terrain vehicle. All right, this is probably one of the more legit mono wheels I've seen in this game. When it comes to, like, the character being in the center of the wheel, I haven't seen too many of them that are very functional, but uh, this one's totally working. All right, but what I really want to do is get some speed with this thing. So we're going to take it down this ramp here and just see how it functions. Oh, no, no, not off. Not off the cliff. No, no, no. Turn right, turn right, turn right. Hey, the turning is a little bit, a little bit janky sometimes. There we go. This is what I'm talking about. Let's pick up some speed. 70. It, around 70. It seems to be the, seems to be the max speed we're getting here. And there we go. <laughs> well, hey, no damage done. That's actually pretty impressive. I mean, obviously these blocks that he's made the wheel out of here aren't the most perfectly round or the most rubbery material to be driving across the ground here but they still work nonetheless, to a certain extent. Can we blow ourselves up? Okay, I'm, I just wanna, no, this is not, this isn't working. You know, we'll go for another one. I don't know how much speed we need to blow ourselves up on one of these things, but it is apparently more than what I have. <laughs> this is so sad. Oh, there we are. I felt like that one was gonna be it. So we looked at a decent number of creations in this video. Did you have any particular favorites? Let me know down in the comments below and let me know what you'd like to see in future Trailmakers episodes. Anyway, this has been Scrabman and I'll see you next time. Bye.